All year long, producers wait for this moment, when their cherries go through the final stage of selection, sanitation, and packing before being shipped off to China. For the Chinese, this color, red, brings good fortune. So they import cherries, mainly from Chile, to celebrate the Chinese New Year, which starts next month. But when an unsubstantiated story went viral on Chinese social networks last week, it brought misfortune to Chile's multi-billion dollar cherry industry. This was the result of non-official information in China, a rumor that's provoked a steep drop in demand, that our government is working round the clock with the private sector to see what we can do. When claims began circulating that some imported cherries had been found to be tainted with COVID-19, overnight exports plummeted from 500 to zero containers a day. Australian cherry producers have also been impacted, but not nearly as much as in Chile, which exports much larger quantities. We have never been formally accused of anything by Chinese sanitary or customs authorities. It's just a story in the media that was never retracted. The ones who suffer most are the small and medium-sized producers who've invested everything they have and went into debt betting, betting on a good year. The president of the Exporters Association says exports are picking up, but that the cherries are being sold at a loss and time is running out. It's summertime in the Southern Hemisphere, which makes these cherries particularly valuable because they are picked, packed and shipped at a strategic time for the Chinese market. But unlike these grapes, these cherries will spoil in just a matter of weeks. Chile has launched an intense counteroffensive in China, using influencers and scientists on social networks to try to convince consumers that their cherries are safe to eat. All this is more than just bad luck. It underscores just how vulnerable fruit exporters are to a negative tweet or story, substantiated or not. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Santiago.